Hi, uh, Miss Alderson. Um, it's Willow's teacher. I'm calling to set up a time to meet. We had a biting incident with Willow and another student. Again, please call me. Monday, 3.54 p.m. Hi, Camille. This is Jessica Peterson, Jimmy's mom. Your daughter bit my son, Jimmy, for absolutely no reason again today. I know you and your husband. Well, I know Willow must be going through a hard time. Monday, 3.54 p.m. Hey, Camille. It's me. Uh, listen, so Cynthia managed to score uh, her and I some reservations for this brand new restaurant that's opening up on Thursday. So I'm not going to be able to pick up Willow from ballet and bring her home. But uh, we will see you at uh, Aspen's birthday dinner. Bye. End of final message. dressed yet. We have to leave. Ten minutes ago. Willow, that's so nice of you, but I already ate. No, Mom. That's for Tana. She says it's important to eat breakfast oh. every day or else you're going to Honey, scrub. that's my lawyer. I have to get this. Please go upstairs and get dressed. I don't want you to be late. Hey, Roger, what's up? Yeah? He wants what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, no, absolutely not. Let's get back to his attorney right away. Hannah, would you like some tea? Pinky's up. Here, take this. There's frosting all over your face. <laughs> Do you like my accent? Wouldn't you love to meet the queen? I wish she could be my grandma, and I could be a princess. Do you know that in England, every single day there's a tea party? And the lakes don't have water in them, but tea. So when you're thirsty, you can walk to the nearest paddle and take a sip. <sighs> I know. I wish we lived in England, too. I'll finish up in here. Go let your father in. Dad! Hey, sweetheart. Good to see you. Is that present for me? No, silly. It's your sister's birthday. Where is she? She's upstairs. Aspen! Birthday girl, we're here! Come on downstairs. I'll go get her. She probably can't hear you. Dad's here! Dad's here! Come downstairs. He has a present for you. Big whoop. I know. And we even made you surprise cupcakes. Then I guess they're not a surprise anymore. Come on, come on! Is she here? 
It's my birthday, and he brings her? Hurry! Hurry! Jeez, Willow, I'm coming. Hold your horses. I don't have any horses. So, uh... Cynthia here makes the best carrot cake I've ever had. I swear I've gained 10 pounds since we started dating. Oh, sweetie. Did you know that 85% of new relationships after divorce are destined to fail? Aspen. What? It's true. Well, girls should really try our carrot cake sometime. It'll blow your mind. Kenna only eats carrots in mom's chicken soup. Only. She won't touch any gross carrot cake. She says it's poison. Poison! So... Willow, how's the first grade treating you? Willow, tell everyone about your class project. Ken and I interviewed Sandra, the hairdresser. Willow's teacher is having all the students interview someone elderly that they know from the neighborhood. Do you want to do your project with Patty? You guys have playdates all the time. Patty says Kenna couldn't be my partner too. So instead, Ken and I pretended to be hairdressers and gave Patty a haircut in Sandra's salon. What? Why is this the first that I'm hearing of this? I picked her up that day. I guess I forgot to tell you. <sighs> Patty cried so much, like a baby. There was hair all over the floor. Kenna says Patty was being a butthead. Willow, please don't use that word. Didn't her teacher say something to you? Why didn't you tell me this? I guess I just forgot. It wasn't that big a deal. Kids will be kids. Hair grows back. <sighs> Who's Canna? Canna's Willow's friend. Canna is my bestest friend in the entire world. She said she's missing dinner, but she's at a business meeting in Antarctica. Bummer, she couldn't make it. A party isn't a party without Canna. Aspen, be nice. Thanks, Mom, for the lovely dinner. Cynthia, I'm so glad you and my dad could stop making out long enough to come over. Camille, thanks for making dinner. It was really great. I'd love this lasagna recipe. Uh, thanks, Camille. We should go. Uh, tell her again, happy birthday from me, okay? Mm-hmm. Canna doesn't want her coming back here ever again. Never, ever. Honey, don't you think you're getting a little too old to have an imaginary friend? But Canna's real. <sighs> Canna is real. Maybe, maybe it goes right there. Maybe. All right. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Sarah, I think that must be Willow. Why don't you go answer the door? Okay. See. Hi. Come in. We're working on the biggest puzzle in the whole wide world. Willow, it's nice to see you. I think dinner's ready. You guys ready to eat? So that's why my secretary always wears purple on Wednesdays. <laughs> Dad, you always tell that story. That's why I love your father. He never lets a story disappear, even if it should. Hey, it was a good story. <laughs> Willow, what are you doing, honey? Um, we forgot about Canna. Who's Canna? She's right there. Canna, it's very nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Canna. Let me get you some food. <laughs> Willow, I think your mom's gonna be here soon, so why don't you and Sarah play over there until she gets here, okay? Honey, let me help you with that, and I'll do the dishes tonight. <laughs> Babe. Ew, gross! Oh, God, get a room.
piece is missing. Mom and Dad have been doing this puzzle with me forever. Do you know where it is? Um, must be lost. Willow, Sarah, Willow's mom's here. We were so close. What are you doing here? It's nice to see you too. Dad forgot he was supposed to pick you up. Again? We're so hungry. We could eat an elephant. We could eat all the elephants. Don't be such a baby. We'll get you a snack at home. Mm. I don't like Cynthia. Who would make cake out of carrots? They're a vegetable. Don't worry. She'll be out of the picture soon enough. How do you know? Willow, she's a temp. Dad's having a midlife crisis. All my friends' dads are having midlife crises. What's a temp? A substitute. Like when that grouchy old woman came to take care of us for the week, and she only let us have 20 minutes of recess, and Ken and I were so mad? Exactly. And your old teacher came back, didn't she? So, how long is Canna going to be around? What do you mean? She lives with us. Where'd she come from? She's from Madagascar. She likes it here because she's allergic to the sun. When it's sunny, she turns pink, and then green, and then neon, and then rainbow. And then she gets covered in stripes, like a zebra. And she gets all embarrassed in front of her fiancé. Canna has a fiancé? She's mature for her age. Where's her fiancé? He's on a business trip. What's her fiancé's name? Timothy the Third. She says I'll have one soon too. Huh. You ask a lot of questions. And you seem to know all the answers. How long are you gonna keep this up? Keep what up? Never mind. Hey, what's up? Oh my god. They did what? Gross. Why are you sitting here? I'm out of dough. Pizza dough? <laughs> no, honey. Cash. Mula. M-O-N-I-E. Don't you have a job? My job is living life under the stars with a smile on my face and a pep to my step. And I got my friends to keep me warm. What friends? Oh, you might not see them, but they're there. They're always there. I have a friend, too. Her name is Canna. She's right here. Oh, nice to meet you, Canna. Always nice to make a new acquaintance. Welcome to my neck of the woods. Canna's my bestest friend. She stays with me all the time. They don't wait for an invitation. My friends come and go. They knock on my doors and windows. They bang on the ceiling, hide behind the curtains. They scream into my ears and stop in my skull. <sighs> what are you drinking? Oh, that's my, my magic juice. Keeps me young, keeps me alive. You don't look very young. <laughs> young in spirit, sweetness. Young in spirit. Can Canna have some of your magic juice? Dad forgot to pick us up today, and she's really thirsty. Well, sure, what's mine is yours. Here you go, Canna. Take a sip. You'll feel golden. G-O-U-L-D-I-N. Whatever. My mom says Canna can't be my friend anymore. Oh, that's too bad. It's not what you look at. It's what you see. That band is so heavy. I know, right? I can't believe that... Oh my god, I have to go. Willow! Oh, thank god.
Don't you ever do that to me again, you hear me? I thought you'd been abducted. I'm sorry, Canna wanted to go to the beach. I'm so sick of Canna. Canna this and Canna that. You can't blame everything on an imaginary friend. Canna isn't real. You have to grow up. Canna's the only one that cares about me. You're always with your stupid friends, Mom's always on the phone with her lawyer, and Dad's always with Cynthia. There's no one left for me. Oh God, I'm sorry. Look, I know what's been going on has been difficult. It's been hard on all of us. But even though Mom and Dad don't live together anymore, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Canna doesn't want things to be different. Canna wishes everything could stay the same. I know, I do too. So, does Canna like ice cream? Canna only likes chocolate ice cream. I think I know a place where we can find that. I'll race you. On your mark, get set, go. Wait, go slow, Canna has short legs. I'm asking love, what have we accomplished? And what remains on your lonely wish list? Come down from there right now. No, I won't have you spray my roses with your toxins. And there will be no more of this redundant. I'll come down there right now You're telling me that all my pain might stop 